we burnt about 70 million ballot papers. Imagine that that one ballot paper cost 10 naira. Do the maths. We literally burnt 10 naira times 70 million sheets. Whereas this country is suffering educationally, health wise, and all sectors. And yet we spend huge amount of money on election that is disputed. We've got to reduce the cost of election. We've got to make the process in a way that is seamless. We've got to have a dashboard that tells us who is winning. We don't have to rely on one individual called returning officer or scope at the state level who determine the cuts of all our voting. At the end of the day, sir, we would have reduced judicial impunity, in which case, like uh, uh, Jonathan said, that the people no longer vote. The judiciaries are not the one voting. We have seen that again and again. We must find a way. I continue to maintain that without a total and complete overhaul of INEC, that we are not going to have credible elections. Yakubu Mahmoud and the likes of those at the helm of affairs of INEC needs to go and uh, there needs to be complete judicial reform and overhaul of INEC. So the Abuja School of Social and Political Thought had a think tank meeting. I want you guys to take a look at this and let me know what you think about it because this matter is very, very serious. At what point who should be the appointed power? I've come to the final conclusion, maybe it's not yet final, that we must put strategy in place not to look at the people running the affairs of election, but to look at the process that turn up results for the elections. What am I saying? It doesn't matter who is INEC's chair. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is a wreck of INEC. It doesn't matter. What matters is that the people become the, the owner of the electoral process. Just as the election came out from the United States, even before it was officially announced, and for your information, it has not been officially announced. The U.S. election is not officially announced, but we already, because until Congress meet and there's a presentation of the Electoral College and there's an approval, it's a process. It's a process. But the people conducted the election. And how, does, how will the people conduct the election? By putting systems in place that when election holds in polling unit one, the results of polling unit one, it's not just by way of paper alone. People have criticized electronic transparency of results. Uh, because of, I mean, it's okay for to criticize electronic uh, uh, results because electronic transmission of results because of the possibility of hacking. But I have an alternative. There is no way, as already alluded by the convener, that if you have an INEC chairman, even though you sack all of these uh, national commissioners, you sack them today, and you appoint us in this room, there will be error. That is when you start saying, ah, see, uh, Dr. Samamati, he has changed. He has not changed. There are forces. How will someone like a Tysolari eventually fail in the, Fed bank, uh, in the, in the People's Bank? There are systemic challenge that needs to be addressed, and you need systemic solution, not the people. I've taken my position away from the people to systems, and you can call it system theory. And what, what am I talking about? As we head to future election, not Ondo, no, 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 will not solve what I'm going to propose, because the system is still the system now. As the, what pre presents to us an opportunity is the electoral reform. We need a huge organizing, the convener leading all of us, taking it that we need to reform the election result process. And how do I mean? We already have electronic means in our, constitu in our electoral act. Unlike in the 2015, where there was no smart card written in the uh, electoral act. Now we have technology embedded in our act, which means there's a legal form. So we have a beavers. And the beavers work is to snap the result sheet of the Formic C8A at the polling unit level and then upload that for the people to see. We thought we have gotten to a level where we can rest, but it's not yet. You know, a little continuum. It's not yet to rule. But what am I saying in essence? We need a system that has an electronic voting and transmission of results 
But there's a caveat. If you go to collect money at a POS machine, you get a receipt, true or false? You get a printout. That printer becomes your ballot paper. You have that ballot paper stick into the ballot box. After the election is over, the polling is over, we tally both the electronic and the paper, the ballots. When it agrees, you send the one electronically. You can send it to a portal that shows to everybody in the world. You don't need human error. I tell you, the greatest challenge in the electoral system is the collation process. It is an opaque system that we cannot resolve in this room or this year. Why I say it is this. When polling happens at the polling unit, that result can be changed at the collation point. Those who voted are no longer there. And you ask me how. If there's an error, just one error, that result, that result from the polling unit can be classified non and void. It is in a legal regime. It's allowed. It's legal. So where there are differentials in the number of polling, in the number of ballot paper issued and ballot paper used, where there are differentials, the returning officer at the world collation level can declare that result invalid and push it aside. Whereas there's a party already winning who are taught they had won. That result is no longer added. There's another side of it. Today, ANEC has actually dropped some, uh, I don't want to speak about some legal issues around the CTC done by our friend, but it's also that there are evidence that suggests that ANEC had downloaded or removed certain results on the IRF, makes a correction and uploaded it. It is not the first time. It happened in Edo 2020. It happened in Edo 2024. It happened in Edo 2024. So you just go, because there is no system in place or no policy in place to check what can be removed and re-uploaded. If we don't put those in place, we are going nowhere. But I'm not even asking for that processes now. Let's forget about that process. Get the results and the polling unit Hard copy, collect, normal collation, APC, PDP, APGA, labor, do all the collation. Go on the electronic one and do your tabulation. It electronically tabulates. And when that is done, you press the send in the presence of everybody, recognizing that the result sheets from EC8A agrees with what is to be sent. And you snap and you have a valid result. So the one, no error of manipulation, no error of tabulation. It will reduce the cost that we spend on elections. Let me quickly give you a metaphor before I move on. In 2019 election, of course, 2020 election, you can, go, you can do the math. Particularly 2019 election, there were over 80 million registered voters. And INEC will usually print over 80 million, let's say 100 million. And those ballot papers are currency level ballot papers with some features, security features because of theft or manipulation and all of that. If you look at the results of the 2019 election, the total number of people who voted, canceled, and rejected, were less than 30 million. In all lessons, we burnt about 70 million ballot papers. Imagine that that one ballot paper cost 10 naira. Do the math. We literally burnt 10 naira times 70 million sheets. Whereas this country is suffering, educationally, health-wise, and all sectors. And yet we spend huge amount of money on election that is disputed. We've got to reduce the cost of election. We've got to make the process in a way that is seamless. We've got to have a dashboard that tell us who is winning. We don't have to rely on one individual called returning officer or scope at the state level who determine the cost of all our voting. At the end of the day, sir, we would have reduced judicial impunity, in which case, like uh, uh, Jonathan said, that the people no longer vote. The judiciaries are not the one voting. We have seen that again and again. We must find a way. I've already proposed, I know my proposal, we have some defect, but strengthening it will matter for us as we begin to go ahead. I so rest my case. Thank you very much.
Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.